Where you going, baby? Nah, you don't have to go nowhere. Celebration. Celebrate and run. You're celebrating a sexy. Cut it all, hang out. Now don't you stay a while, babe. Crush grapes is like a lifestyle, babe. What? I like your smile and your nice style, babe. Crush grapes is like a lifestyle, babe. Grazie. Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cabernet, Mr. Cab Cabernet. Hey y'all, what's shaking y'all? This is Mr. Cap Cabernet, and welcome to another episode of Crush Grapes TV. And you're in tune to Cap Cabernet's Wine of the Day, a division of Crush Grapes TV. And if you don't know by now, Crush Grapes is a lifestyle. Today, we are going all the way to Italy. We're going to taste two wines from Italy, two different parts of Italy. Uh, one wine in particular I uh, had a chance to sample last night and um, it's a Sangiovese. Di Arezzo is a company out of uh, Misaglia and um, this wine uh, was very nice last night so I wanted to save a little and taste it on the, on the show with you guys today. Uh, because I do recommend this. And we'll just get right into it. Uh, I'm interested to know what, it, what it's done since it's been trapped in that bottle all night last night. Uh, more of the same. More, more uh, of this leathery, licorice, more of the cherry, more of the cranberries, again, red fruits, um, and it's, it's, uh, it's very floral, you, you know, you got like, uh, uh, maybe, uh, uh, roses, rose petals, finish uh, medium tannins but a lingering juicy uh, fruity finish very dry though this is not a, a sweet wine don't confuse the fruity with the sweetness it's two different things so on this um, I mean you compare this with a, a, a cigar um, you compare it with type of uh, roasted meat, I would say, you know, roast beef, roast chicken, roast goat, whatever roast, whatever, whatever pot roast you want to roast. Um, let's, let's, uh, let's get into the next joint. Monte Dal Ora, 2005, Val Policella, Classical. If I'm pronouncing this wrong, I'm sure my friend Rafa De More, uh, will correct me. Prego. <laughs> now, Valpolicella is from uh, is from Verona, Italy, and um, they're known for like the high hills and uh, even marble quarry. Uh, a lot of things going on there that creates a very interesting. Uh, very, very interesting vinicultural zone for wine. And uh, they produce a whole lot of wine. They're like a second to like Chianti, which was one of the biggest producers of wine. Val Policiella is typically made from three different grape varieties. Corvina Veronese, Randinella, and Molinara. These are all red grapes that can all be found in the region. And I've had a chance to taste those grapes individually. And this is one of the reasons why I really dig when you all when you put them all together and they come together in this in this uh, 
classical, it's a beautiful thing. So we're going to get right into this because I can't wait to taste this actually. As you can see, I'm opening it right here. I did not let it uh, aerate. I did not open it up last night. Look at the color of this. Um, looks sort of like a, a Beaujolais. And uh, these are actually made similar to the, the style of Beaujolais. Very light table wines. Uh,
master winemaker uh, behind the wine, uh, the farmers that grow the grapes, the bottling companies, that everything goes into, I study all this stuff because I want to know from the grape being grown on the vineyard to it hitting my table in my glass, I want to know the, the process of that. And that's why I know what I know because I want to know it. So, this is Italy for you guys for today. Um, I'll be doing some more Italy tastings um, with various um, restaurants and winemakers and sommeliers, etc., etc., friends and associates. But for now, I'm going to bid you a farewell. This is Cab Cabernet's Wine of the Day, the division of Crush Grapes TV. And if you don't know by now, Crushed grapes is a lifestyle. Sip it slow. Cheers.